Hello, my name is Andrew Grant, and today I'd like to show you how you can install a personal email certificate on Mac OS X and use that email certificate to sign and or encrypt your email messages to friends and family. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and go to a website named www.komodo.com. Once we're at Komodo, if we scroll down here you'll see their popular downloads you want to click on secure email when you click on that link it'll take us to a new web page that we want to make sure we click here on free email certificate we don't want their secure email program instead we want to get an email certificate once we click on that link it'll take us to a new page where we can see the details of what a free security email certificate looks like uh, you can read a little bit more about it, but the important thing here is we click the free download link and that takes us to a new page that asks us for our first name, last name, email address, country, and what size key you would like. I recommend the highest grade key. Password to revoke your certificate. When you download your certificate, you need to make sure you store it in a safe place if you keep it other than just importing it into your keychain. If anything ever happens that you feel that your certificate has been compromised or somebody has stolen your certificate, you can log in to Komodo in the future and revoke your password as long as you put a revocation password in here and you remember it. I'm not going to opt in for the newsletter once you've read all the terms and conditions you go ahead and click agree when you're done with that you will receive an email indicating that your certificate is ready to be downloaded when you click on the link in that email it will take you to the Komodo web page indicating that it's ready to collect your secure email certificate it will download that certificate and save it in your downloads folder we open our downloads folder we can see here that the certificate has been downloaded it's called collect ccc.p7s this is your personal certificate that once imported will allow you to encrypt and sign emails it's very important that this be kept safe what will happen once the file is done downloading in Safari is it will automatically prompt you to import the certificate and that should look like this add certificate do you want to add the certificates from file collect ccc p7s to keychain yes if you wish to view the certificate you can but basically you're just going to select your login keychain and click OK when you do this you will notice that if you quit and relaunch your Apple Mail if that is your email client you're using you will find that you now have new options when you compose an email from this address here is a new compose window for an email you'll notice that I have two new buttons here that you should not have had before you installed your email certificate these are the digitally sign the message and encrypt the message you can sign every message you send what this means is that you are attaching a copy of your digital public key signature to each message so that everyone you send an email to will have your public key if they don't have your public key they cannot send you an encrypted message so when you sign messages I like to leave it signed by default everyone I send an email to is getting my digital signature which should automatically be imported into their digital certificates and in the future if they try to send me an email if they have a private key certificate they can then encrypt messages to me so I'm gonna send a message to myself since I know that I have a certificate for my own self notice these the digital encryption pops up if I uncheck it it will not be encrypted but it will be signed uncheck this it will not be signed with the X in the center with a check it will be signed so as a general rule you sign every email message but you can only encrypt messages that you have a public key certificate for so once we've imported our certificate we've quit and relaunched Apple Mail you now have new options to sign and encrypt emails 
Again, you can only encrypt messages to those people who have signed an email and sent it to you in the past. So sign every message you send out and you may begin to receive encrypted emails from other people.